Hey everybody, Christopher Rod here, and welcome to game number six, day number six of my 30 games in 30 days challenge where I'm playing games that I've never played or haven't played since childhood, this one being the latter. And uh, I'm doing new games, old games, silly games, serious games. This game is called Full Throttle. Now this was released in 95, and it was developed by LucasArts, you know those guys, and designed by Tim Schafer, who now runs uh, Double Fine. Uh, they recently did a remastered version of this game, and uh, that is the one that we are playing. So, uh, I haven't played- I played this when I was younger. I don't remember a whole lot of it. There's gonna be moments where I'm like, oh yeah, that, like, just little, like, nostalgia bombs, right? So that's basically what this is for me, is, uh, is a, a, just a trip down memory lane. Uh, I am gonna go into the options. I noticed something pretty cool in here. So you go into the settings, you still have the option to use either, like, uh, the remastered or the classic look of uh, of the art, the way that um, the graphics are displayed, uh, remastered gameplay, they changed a little bit of how it actually plays, the music you can choose as remastered, classic, or auto. I'm gonna leave everything on auto, and, uh, and we'll basically jump right in. I will take us through how to play, because if things have changed dramatically from the first one, it'll be good to know what to do. So navigating, uh, you just move the, use the mouse to point your cursor where you'd like to go, and then click there and you walk there. So this is like a point and click adventure. Uh, interacting with the environment, the cursor allows you to interact while hovering over something. Press the left mouse button to open the interaction menu. And then you've got these things. So while the interaction menu is open, drag your mouse over one of the interaction options and press the left mouse button to confirm your choice. So if you want to look at something, use the eyes. If you want to talk to it, use the mouth. Pick up or punch, hit the hand. And then kick, use the boot. All right. Uh, object highlighting. To help you identify interactive objects, quickly press the shift key to highlight them. That'll be helpful. Inventory menu. To open your inventory menu, press the right mouse button. Choose an object with the left mouse button, and then drag the object out of the inventory window to use it in the environment. Okay. Using inventory items, when it's uh, selected, it will appear inside the cursor. Move the cursor over objects or characters in the environment and press the left mouse button to use the inventory item with it. And then, we can ride a bike. While Ben's on his bike, you can either use the mouse or the keyboard. While fighting enemies, choose the ideal weapon and attack. So you like go left and right with the mouse, or you could use the arrows. Enter is attack, tab is change weapons, or just using the mouse, attack and change weapons. Sounds cool. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna be so weird. Uh, but let's do a new game. I'm, I'm sure so many of you guys have like never even heard of this game, but uh, hope you give it a chance. Whenever I smell asphalt, I think of Marine. That's the last sensation I had before I blacked out. The thick smell of asphalt. And the first thing I saw when I woke up was her face. She said she'd fix my bike. Free. No strings attached. I should have known then that things are never that simple. Yeah. When I think of Marine, I think of two things. Asphalt and trouble. <laughs> I like that voiceover that he's got. That's awesome. Than dirt. Oh, Mr. Corley, if you'd only listen to my plan, my vision. I know your plan, Rip Burger. You're waiting Rip for me to Burger. die so you can take over my company. <laughs> That's horrible. I am not waiting for you to die. You know I've never liked you, Rip. But you have business know-how and killer instincts that I respect. Why? Thank you, sir. But this latest idea of yours, riding up to our shareholders' meeting with a gang of bikers? Who do you think you're fooling? The shareholders, sir. It's good PR to be seen hobnobbing with real Corley Motors customers. What do you know about our customers, Adrian? You've never even been on a bike. <laughs> you know I'd be. So this guy runs Corley Motors. If it weren't for my make bikes, stabilizing inner ear condition. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. Fine. It's what's between them that scares me. <laughs> Here we go. First of all, the cars are hovering. How cool is that? The bikes are still old school, wheels and everything. There goes some boys I can ride with. <laughs> Step on it. Let's He's find so out pumped. Are. 
Here's the man. The myth. The legend that is full throttle. These sweet intro titles. I mean, this is better than it was. <laughs> if you guys haven't played this, you really should. You really should. This is like a classic back in the day. Not many games do this anymore. We have like all the credits at the beginning. Tunes. The testing team is bigger than the development team. <laughs> Good old Timmy. Oh, you I just got flashbacks of like this yeah. knife There's game. Some cash doesn't come our way soon. We're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. Something big. Could it be that giant hovering car that you passed? Yeah, you better stay out here, Rip. <laughs> this place is bikers only. <laughs> This guy right. like a cool Who's old the guy cat. That drove over my car? What could possibly be taking so long? <laughs> maybe old man Corley got himself in trouble. Yeah, maybe they took the old guy out back and worked him over with a two by four. Hmm. Are these the drivers? An appealing notion, but improbable. More likely he's boring them to death with some tale of the glory days. <laughs> but Malcolm, isn't that illegal? Not back then it wasn't. <laughs> He's got them all riled up. So who do you ride with these days? He rides with me. Although I'm sure he'd much rather be riding with your little club. I told you to wait out in the limo, Rip Burger. I thought you might like some... I love that his name is Rip Burger. Pitch, sir. Sales pitch? Yes. We've come here today to offer you and your men employment. Mr. Corley requires an escort to the annual Corley Motors shareholders meeting. Does this look like an escort service? This guy's got like one he big tooth. Well guy in the back has like 50,000 teeth. Not interested. Don't trust a guy with 50,000. Look at this. That That's so many teeth. The money. Listen, I said we're not for rent. The polecats are not goons for hire. Not even if it were Malcolm Corley's dying wish. Rip Burger? That does it. I'm gonna... Hold on there, Malcolm. If you don't mind, I'd like to step outside with Mr. Rip Burger for a little chat. Maybe some Excellent fisticuffs. Idea. And the doctor says he'll... We're just gonna meet out behind the kickstand. That's bad news for all of us. He's not just a nice guy. He's also the last motorcycle maker in the country. What happens to Corley Motors if he dies? Don't worry. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The Polecats are not thugs for rent. If you want to buy muscle, you should go find the Rot Wheelers. The old oh, man not says the Rot Wheelers. Are nothing. Then I guess it'll have to be nothing. Hmm. Why does the old and man want the pool cats specifically, word. I wonder? That's it. I can't remember well, any of that. I'd like to make you just one final offer. Oh! <sighs> Bolus, take this coat and go get his Bolus. motorcycle. 
We'll have to tie up this little 200 pound loose end. <laughs> It'll need to look like an accident. That stuffed shirt actually thinks I'll leave him in control of Corley Motors when I go. Boy, is he in for a surprise. By the sounds of things, he's the one in control hey, right now. Where's Ben going? Your colleague has decided to accept our generous offer after all. As a matter of fact, he's gone on ahead to scout out the route. <laughs> I forgot did. all about well, this. Well then, let's roll him, boys. This guy's so gullible. Corbill, here we come. All right, so this we just kind of went through. F1, you can actually switch the render mode. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm playing on PC, so this stuff doesn't really matter. Uh, switch the render mode. So this is the old school version. That is so cool that you can switch on the fly. Then here's the new school. Man, that is awesome. Okay, uh, let's check the dumpster. There we go. Now, let's see what he looks like. <laughs> it's a little bit of an improvement. It's a little bit of an improvement. Alright. Warning. Do not play in or around <laughs> dumpster. Do not kick dumpster. Do not sleep in dumpster. Usage we of did this one of those. for disposal of human remains may be a violation of local okay, health we, ordinances. Okay, we kind of did two of those. Can we do the kick? It says don't kick. Take that. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the boxes. They're empty. Of course they are. Oh, this is still I've the dumpster. Alright, let's go. Oh, maybe these boxes, hold on. Empty boxes. He really should flatten these so they can be recycled. That's very thoughtful. Yeah, so it actually showed yeah, see the highlighting is kinda nice actually. If you ever get lost, you're like, oh, I could check out that thing. The kickstand. <laughs> That's all. Just the kickstand. Let's use this thing. <clears throat> so, we're gonna have to catch up with the boys. The rest of the pole cats, the PCs. And I left Some my keys Joker inside. Took my keys. I don't like that. Or never mind. Open up. Come on now. Open up. I'm gonna kick it in. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm gonna be pissed. I was like, I, I'm gonna uh, need a new door there, bud. Door. It was sticky. <laughs> Look, I don't want no trouble. I just, just want my keys. Me out of this mess. Because there's stuff everywhere. Looks like you're out of customers. Yeah, your gang talk off with those those well-dressed gentlemen. So what'll it be, Mac? Um, looking for my keys. I'm looking for my keys. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think you're in on this whole bum deal. Oh, yeah, really? What do you do about it? And he kind of just like admits it. What do you have? I want to know who knocked me out. Maybe you just passed out. Well, I you didn't though. To handle your liquor. <laughs> hmm. It's empty. Don't get any ideas. I've got a few ideas. You want something? Let's, uh, see if he knows where they Where'd went. Where'd everybody head off to? What am I, the cruise director? Maybe it's, they're up on the Lido deck. It's not gonna help us anyways if we can't get the bike started. So... You gonna order something? No. <laughs> you gonna order something? Okay, I can't no. go through the last option. Okay. So... <clears throat> let's... Let's look at the piano. Let's look at all the stuff that we can. Man, I wish they had a jukebox. Can we actually do anything yeah, with it? right. <laughs> All these TVs the and nothing's on. Any controls. Yeah, the signal is piped in from Kickstand National Headquarters. You got a national headquarters? Ah, uh, booze. Yeah, hit me up with one Can't. of those. Got a ride. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. Nothing to grab. It's empty. 
So, okay, what else do we have in here? Antlers. Those might look good. Man, this is like good orders. old school point yeah. and click where you gotta like check on everything. What's this? It's a big blobby gray shape. I was taking an art class. <laughs> Thanks. Is this the same thing? All these pictures the same or no? This your pit bull? Nope. Nah, that's my baby picture. <laughs> okay. Okay. What else is- is there anything else in here that like... Got no home to hang it in. I wonder if we can remove any of these. What about this badger? Good thing that's a badger. Why? Because if that were a dead pole cat, <laughs> I'd have to trash the place. Oh my god. It's beyond mouth to mouth. Its little feet are nailed to the piano. Let's intimidate this guy. You know what might look better on your nose? What? Oh! The bar. <clears throat> now don't mess around with me. All right, all right. I got your keys, but I don't know nothing. They had guns. You obviously know something. I'll destroy you as long as possible. There you go. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I overheard them say something about an ambush up the road. What else? Nothing, nothing. Look, man. Here are your keys, all right? Oh, uh, someone did say something about killing you and making it look like an accident. <laughs> oh, just a little they detail. Did a bit of a job there. Just or a little detail. Push the pole can't. I'd better get moving. Okay. Let's cruise. Got the keys. Get on the bike. Cruise down the street. Everything's gonna be lovely. Look at the old school view. Oh, that's so cool. I love- oh, and the sound too? Like, listen to this. It's significant. Destructible. No one can stop me. But they try. Oh, here we go. Hey, ain't you the A number one pole cat honcho? Look at this! Yeah, and you're in my way. Well, get used to it, bud. When the rock wheelers hit the road, we own it! Oh, this is the Rot Wheeler guy. Okay. Someone's ambushing the pole cats. Someone's ambushing the pole cats? I have a feeling he oh, doesn't. Heavens. Whatever will we do? GAF. <laughs> that does it. Come on, kitty. You Let's got it, buddy. Down. Let's go. It's so bad. Don't give up. Hey, hey. It's so bad. It's so bad. Oh yeah, but it's so good. Hey, yeah, you pop that wheelie. Oh no. But we don't need two wheels. Okay, maybe we needed two wheels. <laughs> Some of the stuff hasn't translated so well 20 years later. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. But actually... I'd like to make you just Some of it has. Like Something about killing you and making it look like an accident. We've almost died twice guns. today. Malcolm Cole is dying. Something about an ambush up the road. I have a plan. Oh. Who the hell? Man, this is gruesome. My editor, Bella oh, Quinty, a journalist. In the middle of the now desert, I nonetheless. Now I get you some help, I suppose. Oh. Ah, quit moaning. I know someone around here who can fix anything. Mm. 
sketch. What are you? <laughs> what are you? I'm a mechanic and apparently a Either. pretty good doctor as well. My name's Maureen. Oh, My name's that's Maureen. Head, okay. Maureen. I forgot all about her. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. Need a little help getting it finished, though. Cool, okay. Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. I could do that. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. That's jumping a few steps there, but that's fine. This an authorized Corley Service Center. Now you could call this a Corley Service Center, but I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Yeah, you're right, that is cooler. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came uh, back. Poor Mo. So I switched to toasters. Like, look at this. The difference is, I mean, it's incredible. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of oh, this is Melonweed. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me not a people person i'm just better with toasters that's all <laughs> you seem more concerned with me than your bike well i mean yeah how's it look it looks better than it did but you gotta help me out the front forks are wasted so you'll have to get some new ones and someone stole my welding torch can you believe that? i ca i cannot I thank god i'm here to find it and last but not least i patched up your ruptured gas tank but you're out of fuel and i don't have any we need to find the forks. We gotta find her welding torch. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Oh, that's helpful. Where am I gonna find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new, new. Just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. Okay. He runs the junkyard. Ask Todd for forks. Gotcha. What about How the torch? Where am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Yeah, that's not you helpful. You would do a thing like that. Now the gas, I do remember that there's some, we have to do some type of siphoning. That's like, I remember that very vividly. Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Okay. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. Um. I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. <laughs> Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. This Battletech update keeps failing. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, okay. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. Okay, so is there... Yeah, there is some stuff in here. So this is the siphon. I know we need this. To get the gas. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this Ran place a mink called the Mink Ranch. And when he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Okay. Gas can we'll take. So we have the siphon, we have the gas can. Can we combine these here? The hose won't help here. No, but I know we need to use these together. I hate seeing her like this. Why? It's really my best side. Talking about the bike. Okay, let's, uh... Let's go, I guess. Oh, good. You're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. <laughs> you the one that brought me here? I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Why would you want a picture of me bleeding? Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? Well, to be honest, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know exactly. 
My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting, and there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Um, I, I... Yeah? Do it, this ask it. for me. I, I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. Well, that's really convenient. Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe Jeez. now. Useless. Absolutely useless. Guess we can go this way. Uh, let's check the mailbox. It was a good chat. Good help. Thanks. It's empty. I don't want to hurt Moe's mailbox. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's go. Gotta find forks, gas, torch. Ooh, what's she doing there? Oh! She's a liar! <laughs> Uh-oh. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. We got screwed! All right, so she said go to the uh, guy at the trailer, right? Just seeing, so we can go this place, this place, this is, I guess, is this gas? We have this little area. All right, let's go here. I think that looks like a trailer-ish. Yeah, this is cool, man. You might have the welder, no? Like, I don't know what this is. Smells like burning metal down there. Yeah, he probably took it. Either someone's doing some welding down there, or we're talking about some very <laughs> sub-code wiring. We'll see if anybody answers. He probably won't with the music. Locked, but flimsy looking. Oh, we could kick it. Not a. Oh, somebody is coming. Who's out there? Hey, I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. <laughs> I don't got time to waste on bums like you. Hey, you lousy no He's just ignoring me. Let's check out what this is. And then, we'll just kick the door down if we need to. It's even sadder looking inside. Oh, it's a sandbox. Apparently, this guy has a dog. No thanks. <laughs> the sandbox has been taken over by a big dog. Okay. We're going in. We're going in, whether he likes it or not. Okay. What's in the drawers? It's locked up with steel brackets. That's not a good start. Ooh, hello. Lockpick? I don't suppose... A lockpick won't help No, there. okay, we just need to break these off, I think. I pictured him having a much larger fridge. Anything in there? Oh, meat. Oh, for the dog. Okay, Todd signs. His decor has a strong carnival coin toss flavor to it. Wouldn't look good on my bike. Okay, so something's in the drawer. I don't think that's doing anything. It's locked up with steel brackets. The steel brackets. We have a lock pick. Let's uh, throw the meat in the sandbox, maybe? I just want to see if there's anything on this side that's different. We'll check the sandbags it's too. Sadder looking inside. Probably all that's holding this dump up. Okay, the meat. Put it in here. So we might need that's to find not stuff. One of many uses. Oh, okay, maybe not. Okay, okay.
So we might need to take this stuff somewhere else and then figure out something, some other kind of trigger to come back here. Smells like burning metal down there. Hmm. No. Well, we can kick it. He st oh, he, I thought he stopped. Steel bars in the glass. Hmm. That's not one of Meat's many uses. <laughs> Alright, we'll we'll go to another place and then we'll come back. Let's go up here. I like that we get around this area pretty quick. This doesn't look too much different. Look at that. It's subtle. I appreciate the refinements, I do. Oh, there's a lock. Beautiful. I bet that thing's full of gas. If only I could get in there. The top of this fence is electrified. I couldn't break it. No, we can't break it, but we can pick it. There we go. Now, do I need this? Yes, I do. See, little things like that. Okay. I don't know... What the hell? Oh, is this maybe, like, hiding? Not sure. The only thing we can do is go back. Oh, frick. Okay, so I guess we go hide. <laughs> oh no! GG. Remain where are you? Hey, I don't see anybody. Maybe nobody's there. Let me set off the alarm before we... Could be an accident. Someone just fooling with us. Uh, you must have missed that last guy. Well, if you could hold this thing still while I'm shooting... Advent. I'm going down for a closer look. Oh, is this the thing that we can? I don't see nobody. He must have run away. Maybe we can uh, siphon we from there. We've seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. Yeah, yeah. Go up he in the tower. Intrigued. Let's go up and get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. Yeah. Okay. Come over here. Hover sled. I don't trust anything without wheels. No, oh, I totally understand. Uh, okay, so let's see. A hose won't help here. I don't touch anything without wheels. I don't touch anything hmm. without wheels. What can we do? A gas can won't help here. Can I go up here now? That the alarm's off? Mm -hmm. Don't think so. No. I'm not putting my lips on that. Oh wait, maybe this... Yeah, here's the gas cap. Okay, so it's it's actually the gas... You have to... Couldn't even tell what this was. But it's good. We got it figured out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Gas can. Okay, put your face on it. <laughs> this I remember the siphoning. I don't know why that's that down there in the yard? stuck with me it's for so him. long. Get him. Where? Over there. Quick. No, you the gas is flying everywhere. We'll have him cornered. Where'd he go? Let's call it quits, huh, boss? No, let's call on reinforcements. Oh boy. So stealthy. <clears throat> oh, good. You get this from the gas tower? Kinda. <laughs> and once we get a welding torch and some new forks, I can fix her up. Alright, so step one, done. 
Now, we're gonna need to figure out a way to get into that guy's basement. Uh, we have meat to distract the dog that we heard about, we haven't seen. We can go up to this area. I wanna see what- I don't walk. Oh, okay, this is like to leave. But that's not gonna happen unless we have the bike. So let's see what this thing is. I don't see anything else in the area. Junkyard. Okay, we'll probably find forks here. I guess we'll probably have to pull this. Pod junkyard. Uh, wait, how can we... Because if we leave this... Hold on. Oh, can we use a lock on this? No. <laughs> no, we can't. What the hell? If we do this... Oh. If we do this, is this leaving as well? Because we could go down, but it's probably both are just leaving, right? Let's just be sure. Yeah, okay. Okay. What do we need to do here? Can we use this lockpick as like a... Slide it between? A lockpick won't help. No. That's not something I want to lock. No. We can't climb it. I'm not putting my lips on that. It comes out a hole in the bottom and goes over that pulley to the other side of the wall. So we can open the door. But... That's about it. Open up, Todd. Think he'll just come answer us? Open up, Todd. Not looking too hot. Open up, Todd. Okay, what are we missing with this chain? Maybe I don't have all the stuff. I don't think we could use this to like... You think if it was big enough, A which is... Won't help there. <laughs> which is obviously not. <laughs> oh god. I can't imagine the meat going here. What in That's the... That's not one oh. of meat's many uses. Oh, I thought this was like a way down. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, hold on. We hear a dog. Hold on. That's not one of Meat's many uses. I wonder if I could, like... Throw it over? I don't think so. That's not one of Meat's many uses. I, I want in! Oh, right! Oh, man. Okay, so I couldn't find what to do at the, uh, at the junkyard, so I'm like, I'm just gonna go around and figure out something to do. And, uh, that's right. We have to kick the door in while he's here. Knock him out. I completely this forgot about that. Beauty. And then we've got... There we go. Okay. Okay. I nominate that as least offensive of show. Metal figure. Is this the torch? There we go. <clears throat> oh, we're just right back. That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. Just a pair of new forks and we're on the road. Okay, so the forks have to be at the junkyard, but what am I missing at the junk? So we have to go back there, because we got the gas from the tower, we got the, uh, the torch from that guy. So we have to, has to be something back here. And all we have is the lock, the lock pick, and meat. So I guess the meat, probably not even for this guy. It's got to be something to do with his junkyard, and we heard barking. So what other things... We can't lock this, can't pick it, can't use the meat. Uh... Oh, I'm so dumb! 
I got it. Okay, I got it. And now we can climb. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. Because it won't open, so this will stay. Yeah, there we go. So sleuthy. I was probably at the junkyard for like Junk. 10 minutes. Not even kidding you. And then you step away and you come back and it's like so much Ooh, better. Fire damage. Forget about just the kind of forks I need right on top. Typical. Okay, so we have the meat though, so we know how to handle this guy. Down. That's one ill-tempered mongrel. Yeah, it is. Okay, so where can I put the meat? Can I put it inside this car, maybe? Away from the place I need to be at? Dog jumps in car, eats meat, jumps out, kills me. <laughs> okay, fair. Dog jumps in car, eats meat, jumps out, oh, hold on. kills me. We got more stuff here. Let's keep looking. We'll figure this out. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. We have to, uh... Okay, so I think what we need to do, we have to put it inside of a car with that magnet thing. And then the magnet thing lifts him, and he's stuck in position. And then I can go get that stuff. Needs dogs. I'm about 90% sure that's what we need to do. Okay, let's go. Whoa, he's just like all over us now. Okay, let's just look. Let me not make any, like, big movements here. No, no noises. Ooh, fire damage. Forget about it. How do we operate the crane, though? Oh, hold on. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so we gotta go, we gotta put the meat in. But then we can certainly operate the crane. We don't want to do this yet. We want the dog to be in the car. And then we lift the crane. Man, this is so crazy. This is like, just these little like, glimmers of like, oh yeah, from like, four, literally, 15 years, like more than 15 years ago. I didn't play this game on release. Uh, it was just something I like, stumbled upon later. But, uh, crazy. Okay, meat. Here, poochy pooch. Pooch. Yeah. Bon appetit, mud. So now, we'll go back up top. Lower this bad boy. I like how the little, the little light comes on. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I think we got him. Now we can go to the junk pile. That's so cool. And then, uh, so we have 
We got the torch. We got the gas. We got the forks. I think that's it. <clears throat> Boom. Nice forks. Look at the eyebrow. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish her up. Awesome. I'm looking at a surprise. I hate surprises. Put some turbo in All that right, bad boy. Here she comes. Good as new. Am I cool or what? So you're so You're, cool. Amazing. you're I so cool. Crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil <laughs> booster. So turbo. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you gonna try this thing out or not? Damn right. Ooh, I wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. And that was the story of how we met Mo. And every time that we smell asphalt, we think about her. And we lit her place on fire, so that'll be fine. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Guys, I think my nostalgia trip has been satisfied. I hope I can share some of this game with you guys. I would recommend you, tr if you're into like the point and click stuff, this is like, this is a great one. This is a great one. And I think you guys would have fun right, with it. Look lively. He's a sneaky one. I'll wrap it up after this cutscene. See him? No. Keep looking. But, uh, yeah, this was fun. I hope you guys don't mind me taking a trip down memory lane. Wait, we're coming right back? What the? What are we doing? I think that's it. Okay. I don't know what's next. <laughs> but I'll wrap it up here. And, uh, we'll take- this is- this is a fun trip for me. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, maybe see a game that you've never heard of or never seen the genre of. Uh, but this was just a trip down memory lane for me and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next.